Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. And I've had a lot of comments on colors of paint that match the snapper. I use Gloss Cherry. A friend of mine in Virginia, Mike, told me this is what he found that matches the closest. And I've had other comments, well I think, you know, this color matches. We're going to let you decide. I got four different colors of reds, and believe me, the color of the top on some of these aren't even close to what the actual color is. Now this is the bracket. I'm going to lose my little note here. This is the bracket that goes under the machine that helps hold the linkage that slides the chain case. So you're never going to see this. So I spray, <laughs> I sprayed this baby with all four colors, <laughs> and you can decide which one matches the best. We'll slide them over here. Here is a original uh, fender off the snapper. It's probably faded a little, and this is the four colors that I painted. Let me hold it down here like this. And I can't read them anymore. What do we got? Uh, first one is Sunrise Red. Then we have Carnival Red. We have Gloss Cherry and Regal Red. Regal Red is here. And as you can see, now I don't know because I'm colorblind. <laughs> But I would say the Gloss Cherry is going to match this the best out of these four. Now this is the only four colors of red that Menards stock. I don't know if um, Rust-Oleum makes any different colors than these four. I guess I'm going to have to call them and find out. Uh, maybe get a color sample of all the reds that they sell and we'll see what we can come up with. But for right now, out of these four, uh, I'm going to say the Gloss Cherry is the best match that I can come up with right now. So tonight is going to be very short. <clears throat> um... I guess this video is for last week because last week I couldn't put one on. I had some tests I had to do at the hospital and it kind of really messed up my week. But at least everything came out okay. Um, so we're going to continue <laughs> making videos. <laughs> um, I had a comment on my last video, I'm not going to stop making snapper videos. I'm just going to mix in some woodworking videos and see how it goes over. Um, as you can see, I have a big, I showed you last time, I have a big tub full of parts here that goes on that machine. That's all that's left to it is the rear case. No fenders, no guts. The only thing I haven't taken off of that is the shift lever, which at first looked fine, but the outside um, thrust washer that goes between the actual shift handle and the nylon uh, bushing for it, it looks like it's starting to wear a little. So we're going to tear that apart I got all new bushings right here. My box came. We'll open this up on the next video for this week. And um, we're going to start putting this thing back together. And I'm going to rebuild the shift lever. It, it works fine, but that thrust washer does look like it's starting to wear a little. And I want to take care of that while I got it apart. Uh, I guess that's it. <clears throat> Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I really need subscribers, guys. Come on. If you watch these videos and you like them, subscribe.
If you watch these videos and you don't like them, I'm sorry, but subscribe anyway. <laughs> and that's it. So, as always, work safe, have fun, and we'll talk to you soon. So long.